this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to dodge and burn and we're going to learn how to do this in a non-destructive manner. So let me just show you first of all if you're not familiar with dodging and burning here are the tools dodge and burn and basically what that allows us to do is if we use a dodge for example we're going to make things lighter so with dodge I'm just going to uh, press this over here this guy's arm and you can see let me show you the before and the after you can see it makes the image a lot uh, lighter and with the burn we're burning things in so we're making things a little darker so we can with this we can try to correct under and overexposed um, parts of an image the only problem with this is we're actually doing this to the actual layer right so it's a destructive format in which uh, you can't it's not really easy to undo what we've done and so forth so there's a better way to do dodgy and burning and that's if with with us just using our um, brush tool at 20 percent we want to make sure we're at an opacity of 10 to 20 percent and what we're going to do is create a new layer um, with the color palette here, we're going to change this to whatever color you have on. Make sure that you're on 0, 0, and 50. We want 50% um, gray here, a perfect 50% gray. So 0, 0, and 50. And we're going to fill that in, so Alt and Backspace. And now we're going to change the mode of this to Overlay. So what Overlay is going to be able to do here is at 50%, at exactly you know halfway into the black and white spectrum, it's not really doing much. But if it's anything lighter than 50%, it'll make it lighter. Anything darker will make it darker. So what we want to do with our brush and with an opacity of 10, 20% thereabouts, kind of depends on the image that you're working on, we want to, with the black, make things darker. With the white, make things lighter. So it'll probably take you a few... Um, a few strokes to do this but basically here the problem that I have uh, with the, this picture over here is that the guy's arm here uh, is being blended into the suit so what we want to do is make that arm lighter so we're just gonna stroke a few times and make that lighter now of course if you want to see what you've done uh, you can just uh, unview the layer and view it back again and you can see that we've made now the guy's um, arm here lighter. Now um, if you're satisfied with that you can leave that as be but as you can see here in the guy's arm I actually made a bit of a mistake. So how do we correct this mistake? Well remember like I said the 50 percent gray isn't actually doing anything right it's, uh, it's making things neutral. So all we have to do is just go back to our 50 percent gray here and then with a smaller brush probably just paint that in and we will be essentially cutting out that uh, that exposure that we did there. There we are. So we've got the guy's arm here fixed. Now what we can do here as well is uh, with the white here we can make things a little bit darker. So there's some parts of the image here for example that are uh, over ex they're overexposed. So what we want to do here with um, with our black actually is um, just paint that in and with the whites you might take a little bit more patience because it's a little bit harder to bring that in especially if there is no detail if it's pure white then uh, you're not gonna get much back but if you have a little bit of the color in there then we can try to bring it back let me just show you here we've made a bit of a difference here and that's pretty much as much as you can do when you have overexposed areas and of course when they aren't overexposed that much we can easily bring that detail back. So it's just a matter of just applying the effect here to bring the details back. Right, so there you are. This is the uh, before and this is the after. We've brought back some of the details and actually made it a little bit less contrasty and a little bit better on the color. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.